861-0011. Again, 861-0011. Honey Baked Ham, the world's best ham, turkey, roast beef, sides, desserts, and service. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Keep this tip in mind. Alcohol does not make you a better conversationalist. Lie on the floor and look at your belly. When you lie down, gravity is going to push the surface flab to one side. What's left protruding on top is the scary stuff. Okay, intelligent people, would you like an easy way to size somebody up? Just check out the pictures on their desk. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! All right, 25 minutes before 10 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Next look at Wednesday morning. I got an email from PayPal that congratulated uh-huh. me on my $135 purchase. Oh, nice. And <laughs> I didn't buy anything. And Oh. <laughs> and, and I clicked on that. Li- I didn't click on the content of the thing, but I, I hovered. My, the hover, you know, the hover thing? Oh, yes, yes, so yes. I hovered my cursor. Boy, these are words you wouldn't have used a few years ago. <laughs> no. I hovered my cursor over the, the thing. Anyway, it showed the, an address that had nothing to do with PayPal. So, I, you know, I knew right away that this is a scam or what they call a phishing thing or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's not always that easy to avoid uh, being the victim of somebody who wants to do you harm through cyber technology. Uh, so let's find out how we can protect ourselves. Michael Kaiser, uh, Kaiser is on the phone. He's the executive director of the National Cybersecurity Alliance, and Benjamin Scribner is on. Also, he is the Cybersecurity Education and Awareness Director of Outreach for the Stakeholder Engagement and Cyber Infrastructure Resilience Division of the Office of Cybersecurity and Communications. He must have a very big business card. Look at this, all those words on that. <laughs> he just wears a T-shirt all day with that written on it. <laughs> Michael Kaiser and Benjamin Scribner. Good morning, sirs. How are you? Good morning. Thank you Where's for having us. Where, where are you guys? Where are you, where are you calling from? D.C. area. All right. Oh, God. I'm actually... Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, D.C. Sounds like there's a delay, and I apologize for that. It'll probably cause us to have a few of those run-ins with each other. It's not our intent to be rude, though. I hope you realize that. So tell me about this. It sounds like where you are might be a big target, um, but even uh, even where we are, I mean, somebody could take my information. That I I got that little. I, I wasn't really scared because it's, I've been doing it for so long. But but who knows? I mean, I could find out. I, in fact, I had an app. I had a, an actual uh, purchase made under my name one time, and I and the, the bank undid it or something. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It, was, it was from Italy. From Italy. Some Italian guy took my money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what? what are yeah, we, and good for you for hovering. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, how, so, what do we need to do, and how do we protect ourselves? Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, there are lots of ways that we can protect ourselves, and these are really pretty small actions that can go a long way. There's simple steps that can be taken. Uh, we can just regularly update our software. I mean, there's lots of devices, uh, our PCs, our smartphones, our tablets. If we just update our our software, we can protect ourselves from malware. Uh, We can also adjust our personal settings and our privacy settings in particular to limit who can see your personal information. We have to, you know, have an attitude that information is like money. So we have to be really careful and cautious because there's a tremendous amount of value in your personal information. And and lots of people will want to have access to that and do things with it. So, you know, if we can be diligent uh, about what links we, we click on, <laughs> as you, you uh, illustrate in your opening remarks, uh, and what email messages we open, we'd be cautious about that. Do we really know the person who's sending these email messages to us? A, a healthy dose of skepticism is really helpful in this. And then I guess the last thing that you've probably been hearing for years is strong passwords. Don't use the same password for every account that you have. And just make sure that you choose a password that 
cyber criminals just can't guess. Oh my you. gosh, that is it's so hard to remember the passwords as it is. I know. My computer sometimes will recommend a password. There's no way I would remember all of that. <laughs> it's like holy cow, how am I going to remember exclamation marks and hashtags and mm-hmm. oh my gosh, it, 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 I mean I'm sure it's a hard one to decipher. Do you think there's ever going to be a time when passwords are a thing of the past? Yeah, I do. Well, you know, I think that there will, passwords will be a thing of the past at some point, but there are actually uh, ways right now that you can have stronger uh, access to your accounts without a password. It's called strong authentication, and uh, it's available on almost every email, a major email account that we have, and you can uh, have something that um, is an additional in addition to your um, logon and your password. It could be something simple as a text to your phone. It could be uh, in... Uh, 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 just note, you know, when you go on to your phone, when you use your finger and you swipe on, that's authenticating you in a different kind of way than your password. So we're optimistic about that. Um, and we're hope that the future will bring this stronger security tools to everyone. But we still have a ways to go, but they are available right now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we were given a, a list of different dates during October for National Cybersecurity Awareness Month that address different themes. Yep, absolutely, yeah. We try and use different themes to just make sure that we are really addressing the full range of, of people who who, uh, who participate in Cybersecurity Awareness Month because this, this these issues impact everyone. So uh, in the first week, the theme is Simple Steps to Online sa- Safety, uh, which really just talks about the biggest concerns that are facing us uh, and some simple steps and tips that people can, can follow. Uh, the second week is cybersecurity in the workplace is everyone's responsibility. And that's because, you know, at work, we also, uh, our businesses are just as interconnected and it's really important for us to be safe online at work as well. Uh, and, and we need to help our businesses because they're also on the front lines of, of protecting uh, information. Uh, the third week is today's predictions for tomorrow's Internet uh, and the Internet of Things, which uh, is kind of what, uh, what we've been talking about with all these different devices. I mean, there's just so many different things from uh, fitness trackers to appliances, smart right, cars, right, uh, right, right. you know, medical devices. Uh, and then we have the Internet wants you in the fourth week uh, because we need more cybersecurity workers. Uh, frankly, there's lots and lots of people uh, uh, who could be doing cybersecurity. Uh, if they have an interest and aptitude, they should because we have a shortage of, of professionals. And then the last week is protecting critical infrastructure from cyber threats because our water, electricity, our yeah. transportation systems... These are really important things. And what was it? Is it Equifax, the one that's got this big issue yes. right now? Is that the company? That's the most recent one, yeah. 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 So, so do we, it, 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 is it a weakest link kind of a thing? If my toaster is a smart toaster, does that offer an entryway for a bad guy? Yeah, I mean, really, um, it's, a, it's a classic phrase we use in cybersecurity is that we're only as strong as the weakest link. So people really have to be thoughtful about bringing these new devices onto the Internet. Uh, you know, if you were to, if you're going to connect your toaster, you're also committing to keeping that toaster secure over time. And we don't know what that takes yet. I don't know if you're going to have to update the software on your toaster or, you know, but that's the kind of thing we have to be thinking about as we move ahead in the future. Um, it's going to be well beyond your laptop and your PC and your phone. We're talking about whole cities being connected, cars being connected, um, appliances in your home, manufacturing right, right. Uh, mechanisms in big companies so it's it's our connected world tomorrow um is going to be exponentially larger than it is today i want to make sure the listeners can uh go to a website real quick i want to tell you something we went to a mcdonald's yesterday Mm -hmm. and uh, i noticed that the old people like us actually still (laughs) order from the from the person with the cash register (laughs) and the young people all go to these kiosks so i said to the guy who worked and it was really nice and informative i said i should we be doing that? I mean, should we be doing the young men's thing? And he goes, well, you know what's going to happen soon. You order on your smartphone. You just wait out in your car. And we know you're here because we're alerted to it. And they, we bring out the food. I said, holy cow. <laughs> right. So, so I mean, everything is changing more than, uh, quicker than we can keep up with it all. Um, so how do we educate ourselves? How do we catch up with what we need to know? The, the different weeks that you just outlined I would love to be part of that. Is there a way to like go to a seminar or, or go to a website? 
Absolutely. Yeah, the first place you can go is hashtag cyber aware. Uh, so that's it for the people who are behind the wheel and, and don't have a, a way to write things down. Hashtag cyber aware is a really quick and easy thing for you to remember. Uh, if you do that throughout the month, you're going to get access to links and live streamed events, all kinds of information that about the, the, uh, the activities that are taking place all this month. Uh, probably right in your community. Uh, a lot of them are virtual, so you can access them from anywhere. Uh, and then in addition to that, you know, we have several websites that are great resources, have lots and lots of information that you can access all throughout the year. Uh, there's the dhs.gov stop, think, connect website. And then also the stayfaceonline.org slash NCSAM website, which is a National Cybersecurity Awareness Month. And those are great places to just access all kinds of resources. Uh, we have information for individuals to figure out how they can be more secure online. They can become friends of the campaign uh, and, and gather, uh, get all kinds of information sent to them about how to be more secure in their, for themselves and their organizations and their communities. Wow, good information. Wow. Okay. I, I, you know, I've never actually looked for something using a hashtag. I just did it when you said it. Hashtag cyber aware, and I see a bunch of different places that I can uh, click on. Um, well, thank you guys for being on the air with us today. I guess you could tell from some of my comments that we're older. Um, so it, it's very, and I think our listeners, ha well, we run the gamut. We have, we have college students out there and, and we have retirees, so we're kind of in an interesting place in Florida where we have both. Uh, Michael Kaiser and Benjamin Scribner, thank you guys for being on the air with us today. Thank you. It's been right. a pleasure. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. A mostly sunny Wednesday with a high of 89 to 93. And mainly clear winds tonight, though 69 inland, 75 along the coast. Mostly sunny for Thursday, high 89 at the coast, 94 inland. For Friday, times of sun and clouds with a shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon, high 87 to 91. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. What do I do now? After 911, don't worry, call Fakuri. Fakuri Medical and Chiropractic, treating auto injuries for over 32 years. Same day appointments, immediate medical attention, all under one roof. Don't worry, call Fakuri. Go to bestinjurycare.com. All auto insurances are accepted. Available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week to take your call. Car accident? Don't worry, call Fakuri. Bestinjurycare.com. Hi, my name is Erica Olstein. I'm a doctor of acupuncture and oriental medicine. Do you have a gout-ridden toe or bowels that move?